Welcome to Kerala University Padashala. Today, I am here to discuss with you one of the poems of the great Malayalam poet Ayyappa Panikya, Bhagavati Kunyama's Vardhanatyam, which is prescribed for the S5 BA English students in their elective paper, Regional Literatures in Translation. So, I shall give a brief description of Ayyappa Panikya. He was a Malayalam poet, literary critic and academic and a scholar in modern and postmodern literary theories as well as ancient Indian aesthetics and literary traditions. He was one of the pioneers of modernism in Malayalam literature. Panikya's poem Kurikshetram, the scene of the great battle in Mahabharata, which was published in 1960, fueled the modernist impulse in Malayalam literature. In his poems, we can see irony, satire and black humour, which unravel the hypocrisy in society. As former diplomat T.P. Srinivasan says in an article, Panikya's black humour has no parallel in Malayalam literature. He was honoured with many prestigious awards and recognitions. He has received Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for Poetry in 1975, Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for Criticism in 1984, Kendra Sahitya Academy Award for Poetry in 1984, Mahakavi Ullur Award for Poetry in 1990, Kabir Saman Award during the period 1996-97, then International Man of the Year Award in 1997, which is from Cambridge, UK, and he has received the prestigious Padma Shri Award, the coveted Vallathol Award in 2004, and Saraswati Samman in 2005. So, to our poem, Bhagavati Kunyama's Bharadanatyam, I would read, It was the end of Kaivuti Kali and the beginning of Bharadanatyam for Bhagavati Kunyama. Legs close, at a part, must be bent. Not that way, this way, not this way, that way. The feet must only be this far. The hair this way, the face that way, the mudras must be this way, see? Kunyama found it tough to master. Whatever she did turned out to be kaigotikali. She was told, she was shown, the body was arched, the steps were numbered. The mridangam was played. Kunyama stuck to Kaigutikali. Finally, Nethyarama herself came in nice new linen, tried to teach dance in clap dance style. New steps, new gestures, arms swirling, feet twirling, porridge every time. With blessings on the forehead, Bhagavati Kunyama learned Bharadanatyam. Then for a long period, she presented Bharadanatyam, trained a lot of them. That's how Bharadanatyam Bhagavati Amma became famous. Are you listening? Okay, so this is the poem. And uh, as you know, this is a poem translated from Malayalam. And the theme of the poem, in this poem, the poem speaks about how Bhagavati Kunyama, who used to do Kaiguti Kali, managed to learn Bharadanatyam. It was not an easy task for Bhagavati Kunyama to learn Bharadanatyam and she could only stick to the movements of Kaigoti Kali. Eventually, Nethya Ramam, that is the consort of ruling Maharaja or we can say a noble lady from a royal clan, herself came down to teach her Bharadanatyam, bluffing it as Kaigoti Kali. And Bhagavati Kunyama learns it and becomes its master. So that's the theme of the poem. The poet says, then for a long period, she presented Bharadanatyam, trained a lot of them. That's how Bharadanatyam Bhagavati Amma became famous. So I would like to speak about Bharadanatyam and Kaigoti Kali. So Kaigoti Kali refers to the clapping of hands by dancers and it is a popular group folk dance performed in Kerala on the day of Tiruvadira. It is a variant of Tiruvadira. Women perform Kaigoti Kali in pairs in a group with sinuous movements of the body seeking blessings for eternal marital bliss. The unique fact is 
greater emphasis is given to the rhythmic movements and coordination than mudra. And about Bharatanatyam, Bharatanatyam is one of the eight widely recognized Indian classical dance forms that expresses South Indian religious themes and spiritual ideas of Hinduism. It has flourished in the temples and courts of southern India since ancient times. Bharatanatyam style is noted for its fixed upper torso, bent legs and knees flexed. We call it as Aramandi. And this combined with spectacular footwork and a sophisticated vocabulary of sign language based on gestures of hands, eyes and face muscles. The dance is accompanied by music and a singer and typically the dancer's guru is present as the Nattuvanar, director and conductor of the performance and art. The performance repertoire of Bharatanatyam like other classical dances includes Nritta, Nritya and Natya. So we have seen that Taigutikali is a folk group dance and Bharatanatyam is a classical dance. And humor and satire in this poem. The poem is no doubt an exemplar of Aipa Panikir's sense of humor. He has very humorously depicted the strains of Bhagavati Kunyama to learn the art form from one style to another. The shift of style is from a folk type to a classical note. As we know, classical dance forms carry rigorous steps and structure and has a rigid framework to follow. They are unique with its emphasis on rhythmic movements. The basic rules are to be strictly followed and this demands a detailed and systematic practice. In this poem, Ayipapanikir expounds that any art form can be imbibed through practice and techniques. Bhagavati Kunyama could not embrace the steps of Bharatanatyam in the beginning as she was conscious of learning a classical form of art. She was accustomed to only the folk steps of Kaigutikali. When Nethyarama bluffed her by telling that it is Kaigutikali in new style, Bhagavati Kunyama was able to handle it and later on she became a master of Bharatanatyam. So, by constant practice and belief in oneself, one can assimilate any rigid art form. And if we consider this poem as a satire, one might feel that the poet is pinpointing on the people's fascination of falling for art forms to achieve some material rewards without being aware of the value or meaning of art forms. For example, in modern times, we can see how students are unaware of the significance of art forms and who are no wise, are pressurized to learn new art forms and compete in youth festivals to achieve grace marks and fame. A few of them will achieve grades in competitions and later become famous masters of the art form. And since this is a Malayalam poem, I would like to read it in its original form because our paper is titled Regional Literatures in Translation. So we can easily understand the differences in translation as well. So Bhagavati Kunyamayde Bharatanatyam Kaikuti Kali Nirti Kalinyana Bhagavati Kunyama Bharatanati Tileki Kadanada Kaligal Cherta Enna Lagati Cherichu Vekyanam Angane Ella Ingane Ingene alla angene Padangal Tamil itra galame padulu Mudi ingene, Mukha mangane, Mudre laka de idabole, kando Kunya meki dunna mashamagamilla. End the jaydaling kaiguti kalidane Paranyu gudutu, Karnichu gudutu, Maya piasam nadati, Viritam jolichu, Mridangam koti kail pichu, Kunya mapin name kaiguti kalidane Odivil natia ramadana nere to vanu. Pudhi an area the chutti, Kaigoti Kali in the Paranya, the Ritham Padipikan Noki. Pudhi a chuvada, Pudhi adava, Kai Vishal, Kal Jutel, Nithyam Nei Paisam, Nerugail Anugraha Varsham, Bhagavati Kunyama, Bharadanatyam Padichu. Pinavalare Kalam, our Bharadanatyam Avadari Pichu. Etreo Pere Abhisi Pichu. Bharadanatyam Bhagavati Amar, Angane and a Preside Ay the Kato. So this is the poem in its original form and about its structure 
The lavish use of free verse in the poem has helped to do away with artificiality and formalize a pattern suited to modern idiom and the more casual tonality of Malayalam. Abandoning the prosodic units of metrical feet per line, he sought to lay emphasis on words, sounds, phrases and sentences. So this is about the poem Bhagavati Kunyama's Bharatanatyam and I hope you all have loved the poem and were able to comprehend it. Thank you so much.